Hello, and thank you for joining me today. I'm very excited to bring this topic to you and to discuss the ALICE program in Sturgeon County and all the benefits that it can bring to our county. So what is ALICE? ALICE is a grant program for farmers and ranchers. It focuses on marginal or environmentally sensitive land. It helps with establishment costs and may include annual payments for watering systems for livestock, planting shelter belts, improving buffers around water bodies and fencing off water bodies, reforestation, planting flowering vegetation for pollinator species, creating, restoring, or enhancing wetlands, erosion control, and installing bird nests or other habitat structures. The ALICE mission is to help farmers and ranchers build nature-based solutions on their land to sustain agriculture and biodiversity for the benefit of communities and future generations. ALICE is a well-established program and it is currently located in six provinces across Canada, including Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, and Prince Edward Island. It is active in 17 counties in Alberta, so if you have property in another county, you can always look up your county and see if it has an ALICE program as well. The counties participating in ALICE today in Alberta are Big Lakes, Brazo, Flagstaff, lac St. Anne, Lacombe, Mountain View, Northern Sunrise, Parkland, Red Deer, Rocky View, Two Hills, Vermilion River, Balkan, Otasquin, the Duke, Wheatland, and now Sturgeon County as well. So what is marginal or environmentally sensitive land? It could be land that is too steep to farm. It could be prone to erosion. It might be difficult to access with farming equipment. It could be near wetlands or water bodies. It might have poor soil quality. It could be unproductive, or it might be habitat to threatened or endangered species. Many of you have probably grown up on your property and might be part of generations of family that have owned land before you. You know your land better than anyone else, and you know what works best and what doesn't work for your farm. That is why Alice ensures you are the person that designs the project to make your land healthier and more productive. The program is flexible and completely voluntary. The projects can go on land that you own or land that you rent with the owner's approval. Alice projects do not go on your land title. And you design the project, so do what works best for your land. Every Alice community has a separate committee that evaluates their projects. The committee is called the Partnership Advisory Committee, or PAC for short. The Sturgeon County PAC is made up of the Agricultural Service Board members, two councillors, and one student member from the ASB. Technical advisors from local associations can also be brought onto the PAC as needed. More than 50% of the PAC members are local farmers, and the PAC will review all proposed projects and approve, suggest changes, or decline the projects. So what do you get out of the program? You can get a payment of up to 50% of the establishment costs. You can get annual payments for the acres where your ALICE project is located to help with maintenance costs. The annual payments are dependent on the land type and are similar to land rental rates. And I'll go over those on the next slide. And you also get healthier land and higher ecological diversity. For example, if you fenced off a water body or plant a shelter belt, we can cover up to 50% of that cost, including labor costs. The annual payments are included to help with maintenance of the projects and as an incentive to ensure the land flourishes. Some examples would be to help compensate for your time to water the trees in the shelter belt, or it might include time to seed and harvest around a pothole wetland in your field that you typically would have cultivated through. The goal is to provide you with a bit of compensation for the effort and time you put into maintaining the projects. These are the per acre annual payments for Sturgeon County. Please note that these payment rates are decided by the Sturgeon County Partnership Advisory Committee and are subject to change at any time. And here's what is required of the farmers or ranchers that enroll in the program. Number one is signing a conservation agreement that shows you are committed to taking care of the project area for a five-year term in exchange for the annual compensation amount. The agreement is very flexible, and if for some reason you decide the project is no longer working for you, you can discuss the issue with your ALICE coordinator and revoke the agreement. After the five years, most projects are considered for renewal for an additional five years. Number two is submitting receipts for establishment costs or providing a cost estimate for in-kind costs. Number three is working with your ALICE coordinator to monitor the success of your project over the duration of your agreement. And number four is allowing the ALICE coordinator to access the project area on your land to monitor the project. The ALICE coordinator will contact you prior to completing any site visits. ALICE receives its funding through a variety of sources. This slide shows a list of a few of its supporters. And if you are interested in supporting ALICE yourself, there's a donation section on the ALICE.ca website. Here's an example of an ALICE project and what it can do. You can see how much more diversity there is along the riparian area and how much healthier the land is in the photo on the right. This 90 acre parcel is a great example of marginal cropland. It has small open areas that are awkward shapes to cultivate 
and are difficult to access with farming equipment. These areas would need additional time to seed and harvest. It also has many steep slopes, shown by the contoured image on the right. With our large-scale farming equipment today, these hills make crop farming very challenging on this land. There are also some environmentally sensitive areas on this parcel, including a small pothole wetlands and a dense forested area that provide habitat and wildlife corridors. So on this parcel, there's a wide variety of projects you can do. For example, if you love pollinators and biodiversity, one example of a project you could do would be to plant flowering vegetation in the small awkward open areas on the north section of the map. Maybe you decided to use this land as a ranch land because it's so difficult to grow crops on. In that situation, an example of an Alice project would be to fence off the forested area to protect the forest biodiversity. Another example would be to fence off the wetlands and install a solar powered watering system for your cattle to prevent them from having to go onto the wetland to access the water. This land also has plenty of gophers. So another enhancement that could be done would be to install a hawk perch or owl box. This would encourage birds to prey to nest and hunt and would be a great option for controlling rodent populations. The benefit of these projects would be to protect Sturgeon County's biodiversity, habitat and water quality, and you would receive annual payments from Alice to keep these projects maintained. For example, if you wanted to plant more trees in these open areas, Alice could cover up to 50% of the costs to purchase and install the trees, including any labor time you put in or equipment rentals. And you would also get annual per acre payments as an incentive to preserve and maintain that land. For example, if the open areas in the north section are a total of 15 acres and I plant more trees there, I would receive a per acre payment per year for those 15 acres. If it was originally cropland, the per acre payment would be $75. And if it was originally pasture land, the per acre payment would be $40 per year per acre. If you have an Alice project in mind for your property, here's the process for getting your project in the ground. Step one is to contact the Alice coordinator for your county. I'm assuming most of you live in Sturgeon County, so the contact would be myself. And I have my contact information available at the end of the presentation. Step two is to complete an expression of interest form which I will go over on the next slide. Step three, I will complete a site visit with you. I'll take some photos and write some notes about your project proposal, as well as make a map of your project area and design. Step four, I will present your project proposal to the committee, which as we discussed before is called the PAC. Step five, the PAC will review your project and if it's approved, a conservation agreement will be made and the project can begin. Step six, once the project is completed and verified, you will receive compensation up to 50% to cover the cost of implementing the project. You may also receive the annual per acre payments based on your contract terms. This is an example of an expression of interest form that you will need to complete before I come out to do a site visit. It asks for your contact information, some information about your farm, and an explanation of the type of project you would like to have on your property. This is an example of a project proposal. This landowner's property is very low lying and has many temporary wetlands shown by the dark green areas on the top image. The farmer discs through the wetlands on most years to attempt to dry them out and mix up the peat. But this is an ongoing struggle as this area is very wet. Some areas have frequent flooding and crop loss of up to 26 acres, which is about 16% of the quarter section. An example of an Alice project on this property would be to stop trying to farm the most wet areas on the property and to let them stay as natural wetlands. These areas are identified by the red polygons on the map. This will improve the water holding capacity of the area, improve car carbon storage by leaving the peat in place, and could prevent flooding onto neighboring properties, which has been a concern in this area. If you remember the annual payment chart from earlier on in the presentation, the current Sturgeon County rate for cropland projects larger than five acres is $75 per acre. Therefore, if this project is approved, the farmer farmer would receive $1,950 per year for the 26 acres for a five-year term with the option to renew the contract at the end of the five years. If you want to find more information about the program, you can look on the Alice website. There you will find information on the different communities across Canada as well as see some stories about various projects. You can also go to the Sturgeon County Alice website where you will find local Alice events and information. The Sturgeon County Facebook page will also post information about our events. If you have any questions, you can contact myself or your local Alice coordinator. You can find the contact information for all the Alice coordinators on the main Alice website, which is the first link on this slide. And thank you very much for attending this presentation. Please contact me if you have any projects in mind for your property in Sturgeon County. And my contact information is on this slide for you to see.